So it's Sunday, December 17th, and it's been 12 days since the fire came through the back part of the property here and burned up some of my storage containers. The fire is all gone here on the property, but the wind is still really picking up and blowing all kinds of ash and dust all around. And it's still a real big mess here. And it's probably gonna take a long time to clean it all up. And you know, this ash and dust isn't gonna settle down until we get a really good rain here. I'm standing in front of one of my storage containers that got burned up. I spent about the last two years using this container to store wood and tools. And I was always like cleaning the wood and putting all my scraps and cutoffs in here. I had a bunch of full width pieces, really nice wood that I had been collecting. A lot of that wood was really special to me. And regardless of what I paid for it or whether I salvaged it or bought it, doesn't really matter. It really got me to thinking about the, the value of my wood. I do have a few before pictures of what this container looked like before the fire, so I'm gonna show a few of those now. It's really windy, so I have to shut my eyes because I'm getting ash in my eyes. Um, this has been going on all morning. So I'll show you a few of these before pictures and then continue on with this. Okay, so that's just a few of the photos that I could find of how this unit looked before the fire. But anyway, I wanted to give you guys an idea of just how powerful this fire was. So on the morning of Tuesday, December 5th, when the firefighters were here, I'm guessing they were probably here for a good hour or two before I finally noticed that this unit was on fire. I had been walking all around checking out the fires that were closer to the units in the front and also keeping an eye on the house and doing what I could to help out. But um, it seemed like this unit just lit on fire out of nowhere and all of a sudden it was just engulfed in flames all around the outside of it. So I told the firefighters, I said, hey, you know, that storage unit is full of really important wood and nice tools and stuff could you guys put that out and they really wanted to but they were very busy up front working on putting out fires in the front there's a bee buzzing around my head right now it's really bothering me but anyway so they got out here as soon as they could but i'm guessing it was probably about 30 or 45 minutes before they were really able to come out and um, work on putting this fire out so there's a vent on top and the thing that I noticed after the fire was out is there was no smoke coming out the vent. So I thought to myself, you know, it's a steel cargo container. Um, it burned for probably 45 minutes tops and there's no smoke coming out the vent. So if it was still on fire inside, then I would see smoke. The problem is I had a lock behind this box right here and I couldn't open it because the pins inside the lock had melted and my key just didn't fit at all. So about three or four days later, a friend of mine stopped by and he had a big giant pair of bolt cutters in the back of his truck. And I was really surprised he could do this because these locks are designed to prevent bolt cutters from cutting the locks. He was able to flip the lock over and then reach up under there and cut that lock. So I guess these boxes don't do much to stop bolt cutters. But anyway, before I opened it, I was really holding my breath, hoping that, you know, at least some of the contents survived. So anyway, I'm gonna open it up for you guys now. It looks exactly like it did the day that I opened it. I haven't changed a thing. 
and I think you'll be surprised as to what this fire was able to do in just a short amount of time. So this is it. This is exactly how it looked the day that I opened it. I haven't changed a thing. There's nothing really to change. I mean, there's no wood left. There's a metal toolbox right there that I can see. And I do see a few metal parts and pieces of some tools that were in here. But it had a wooden floor and the floor is completely gone. So anyway, an experience like this really makes me think about the value of the wood that I had inside. I had wood inside here that I had big plans for. And I guess when I have wood that I really like, I'll have it for a while and I'll look at it and then I'll, I'll think about other pieces that I have that might work well with that piece or you know how I'm gonna build something. You know, a lot of my projects are really spontaneous, but occasionally a project oftentimes can be based around certain pieces of wood that I have that inspire me to do the project in the first place. So anyway, as far as the value of wood in this container, I mean, a lot of these pieces were so inspiring to me that I can't even put a monetary dollar value on it. It's just, you know, it's a huge loss in wood, far beyond like something that money can reimburse me for. Uh, so I'm not really even thinking along those lines. What I am thinking about is that I'm really lucky to have one container with quite a bit of wood in it that didn't get burned. So I guess what I'm trying to say here is all of a sudden the wood in that container just became a lot more valuable. So I'm really glad to have what I have. I could have easily have lost it all. So anyway, I want to start a project today and I'm going to go up to the uh, storage unit in front where I still have some wood and look through it and try to find some pieces that inspire me to start today's project.
So it's Sunday, December 24th, and it's been about a week since I first started this project. So when I started this project, I was still really dealing with the loss of all that rustic wood that got burned up in the fire. And I guess every day that goes by makes it just a little bit easier to deal with that loss and start thinking about projects that I'm gonna do in the future. You know, a lot of that wood that I had in that storage container, I was actually really attached to and a lot of it I'd been looking at for quite a while and just thinking about all the different projects I was gonna do with it and thinking about how this piece would go really well with this piece and sort of designing these projects in my head. But all that wood's gone now, so there's really nothing that I can do about it. So one of the things that made this project so enjoyable is that I just kept thinking about how lucky I am to still have quite a bit of rustic wood left to still work with. And it made me think about just how valuable and important every piece of wood that I still have left is to me. And the other thing that it really made me think about is how next time I see a piece of rustic wood that really inspires me and, you know, is a really unique one of a kind piece, rather than keep it in my storage container for month after month after month and just keep looking at it all the time and making plans for it, I think in the future, I'm gonna go ahead and put that piece of rustic wood to use sooner rather than later. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and good luck on your next woodworking project.